How do the visually impaired students learn mathematical concepts in an inclusive setting? It is imperative for a blind learner to read and write in Braille. All mathematical symbols and signs have Braille equivalents. Any mathematical equations can be transcribed in Braille using the mathematics codes. Write the following equations. x plus 2 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. And next one, m squared minus 12m plus 36. Read the first equation, Angelica. x plus 2 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. Second equation, Evelyn. The square root of m squared minus 12m plus 36. Very good. In algebra, how do visually impaired students plot and read points and make graphical representations. With the aid of the desk slate or the writing slate which the blind uses and the multipurpose adhesive, the blind child will be able to plot points and read the points given in the uh, equation. I said negative 4, 2. Negative 4 and then 2 is positive. You have to go up. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. Ayun. So the first number is always the X, the second number is always the Y. Plot the following points in your Cartesian plane. The first ordered pair is 3, 5. The second ordered pair is negative 4, 2. The third order pair is negative 5, negative 5. And the last is 6, negative 4. Okay, let me see your work. Very good. In trigonometry, how do visually impaired students solve problems involving trigonometric functions? Okay, Mike, this is a, uh, a tactile model no, of a right triangle. Now, we have here the parts of the right triangle. This one is the longest part, and this is called? Hypotenuse. And uh, this one here is the side across the right angle. This is called the base. This is the base, and this one here is? The altitude. Sir. The altitude. And now, uh, it is very important that we clarify the names of the angles for us to clearly get the trigonometric functions of each angle. Now, if we consider this angle here, angle here, this is angle A, right? Yes, sir. Okay. This is your angle A, and what are the? Uh, what is the opposite side of angle A? The opposite side of angle A is, is the base. Is the base. Okay, yes, it's the base. And how about the adjacent side? The adjacent side is the altitude. Altitude. And this still, this is the. Still, this is the hypotenuse. Upper hypotenuse. Now say I'll give you uh, the measures of each side. The hypo the adjacent. Uh, no, the altitude uh, measures three units. The base measures four units and your hypotenuse measures five units. Now, will you give me the sine of this angle, sine angle A? Uh, the sine of angle A seems the value of sine angle A is equivalent to the ratio of the, the opposite over side over the hypotenuse. Over the hypotenuse, that's right. Yes, sir. And so it, it sine is um, 4 over 5. Okay. This time you solve the sine of 40 degrees. All clear. 4, 9, sine. Zero point seven five four seven zero nine five eight. 
is a regular braille paper or any any paper no, that can be folded to several folds. And this one I made a special triangle. This is very useful in trigonometry if you're introducing um, the trigonometric function sine, cosine, tangent with respect to special angles. So, how do the visually impaired students solve problems in statistics? Any visually impaired student can access different computer applications like Microsoft Excel. The instructor will discuss how to solve the group mean. Then, the students with their netbooks will use screen reader input data and formula inputted to get the group mean to demonstrate how he can perform the task. So the of X now is equal to seven five one five. The of X means the sum of all these forms. Get the mean the mention of X divided by N. most, if not all, of our visually impaired students enrolled in colleges and universities have loaned netbooks from resources for the blind, they can use this device to be able to cope in a regular math class. This software is virtual pencil algebra. The software does the job of the pencil. It moves to the right spot on the paper, guided by the user, and inputs the answers that the user selects. When working through an algebraic equation, a blind student first needs to have the ability to have the entire equation read to them to get an overview. This software has a lot of functions. It's like a handheld uh, scientific calculator. You can convert the number into scientific notation. You can do the trigonometric problem solve. Equations. It has a self-voicing feature that a student can uh, hear the, what is on the screen. These are techniques which facilitate students' abilities, sighted or not, to calculate and remember mathematics facts mentally and to use tools for keeping track of partial sums and products. To help change this perception that math is hard, instruction in actual learning strategies specific to each type of mathematical operation or concept, paired with instruction in positive self-talk, can be effective. The student will begin to expect success instead of failure, and to see the connection between effort and success.